hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is jj and today i have three different stacks for you so we do have super seven as being number one we do have moldavite two pieces of moldavite being option number two and then we have aquamarine as option number three so as you can see i have not pulled the cards yet so i will be pulling them as we go also i do want to say i am a little bit sick um, I am getting over a cold, so if you hear me a little bit, my voice going in and out, or uh, you hear me a little bit stuffy, that's what that is. So, um, I do have channel messages before I do start. <clears throat> I do want to say that I am hearing for someone here that you need to, I don't know what you're trying to do. Is this with someone or like a project i don't know what this is but i'm hearing the fight song from i don't know her name <laughs> but uh the wrecking ball something something so i'm hearing that song for you guys so keep fighting for what you want for someone else i'm hearing that person is waiting for you to communicate with them for another person i am hearing um you're going to reap what you've been working towards i'm also hearing here as well someone has been applying for jobs and I'm hearing they haven't had luck so far. You haven't had luck so far. But I feel like you are hearing from a job by the end of the week. For others of you, I am hearing as well that you need to put yourself more out there. Okay, do not stay indoors or do not be so, do not keep to yourself so much is what I'm hearing. Make sure that you are going after what you want. Okay, because they're saying what you want wants you, but you have to go willing to go get it as well. I'm also hearing for someone do not give up. I don't know, something feels impossible and it feels like it's in regards to someone or a situation with someone. They're not specifically saying if this is love or not, but I'm just hearing in regards to someone. Something feels very impossible or something feels like it's too much drama. I don't know, but I'm hearing pay attention to the signs. You've been seeing this person's initials, date of birth. There's something there that they're showing you. It's kind of like um, I'm hearing you're trying to forget them but then it comes up again okay like the universe is like constantly reminding you of this person it's kind of like okay you know well, why is this happening and i'm hearing from spirit is telling you to not give up for others of you who've been thinking about reaching out to someone do so i feel like that person wants to reach out to you as well what else do i have here for you guys before i move in for others of you again i'm hearing you have to break free from something and uh victory there's victory here something with bittersweet something's bittersweet be careful who you're trusting be careful who you are confiding in okay yeah there's something here with mm, someone not honoring that let go of the remorse and let go of the guilt so with that being said um <laughs> I will go into the options. Again, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. You know all of that. And all the timestamps will be pinned in the comments section. All my information is always in the description box below. If you feel like you need more time, please feel free to pause the video whenever you are ready. Fast forward to your selected option. So we're going to start with Super 7, option number one. Let's see what guidance needs to come through at this time. I am working with the Light Seers Tarot by Christine Ann. This is the tarot right here. Let's see. What guidance needs to come through at this time for you guys? Mm, I'm seeing the letter C, okay, for someone. Like the C. Someone's getting a car or someone wants to buy a car. Or there's something with the car. I don't know. I'm seeing a car. C as in car, by the way. So let's see. I feel like there's something you've been waiting for. There's something that you have been wanting to go after. I do feel like you have been in this moment of pause on this moment of waiting. It's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. You're waiting for something or for someone, okay? And I do feel like that person is coming in your direction. For others of you, I am hearing that you will be overcoming a lot of obstacles that have been getting in the way or things that have been blocking you. I do see here a cancer coming back, okay? A cancer sign. That could be the C as well. There's a cancer sign coming back, sun, moon, or rising. I do see a reunion happening with a friend as well. I do see a lot of you traveling at this time. 
okay or if you've been wanting to travel i do see that being very beneficial for you for many of you this is overseas for others of you if things have been a little bit rocky with someone at a distance from you i do feel like you will be hearing communication from this person i also am hearing for many of you who pick this stack you need to be courageous at this time to go after what you want okay you is this is not the time for you to be just waiting for things to happen for you i am hearing yes things are coming in but you also need to put in the determination and have the courage to go after your passion and your desires because you will be very victorious at this time but it's time for you to take the lead as well also discipline will get you a long way i am hearing for many of you i i do see many of you there is there's the energy of three going on here that i'm picking up okay um, I do feel like you are breaking free from this. There is a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. I do feel like there's something that you want to embark on or there's something new that you want to do. I do see you doing that as well. We do have the devil energy here. So the devil is all about being tied or being in bondage, okay, in regards to something. And I feel for many of you, uh, you might be dealing with relationships that are very tempting with the lover's card and this this reminds me of Sagittarius, the bow and arrow. So many of you may be dealing with the Sag. We have Sag and Capricorn energy here. I do feel like there might be a resparking of like passion in this relationship. For many of you, I do feel like you're breaking free. You're choosing with your heart. For others of you, I do feel here as well that be careful what you agree to. Okay, because someone, I don't know what this energy, I don't like this energy, the devil energy here. Someone's offering you something, okay? And it feels to you like it's very good. It's very lucrative. Lucrative? Is that the word? Yeah, they're giving me the word lucrative. But it really is not. There's Make sure that there are no strings attached, okay? For some of you, if you've been dealing with this devil energy or just with a lot of obsession or with a lot of, like, negative things, you are being released from that. You're stepping into a different energy i do see yeah i see many of you taking like a journey of some sort whether this is literal or metaphorical or maybe you've been on a journey and you're you're getting out of that now for many of you you're going on a different path of where you know there's a sense of wonder here like i wonder i wonder if this i wonder that and i see you going after that or exploring that energy more not being afraid of going down a different path either. Work with Amethyst for those of you who picked this. I see many of you going again, going in this journey of solitude, seeking, okay, seeking, seeking answers when it comes to love is what I'm hearing. For some of you, you are working or the guidance is you should be working on things that are not healthy for you, things that are keeping you stuck, whether this is overworking in order not to feel your energies, whether this is uh, overindulging in food or drinks. I do see that you need to step more in your heart space, okay, into your passions more. Yeah, delight. For a lot of you, I do feel like there is this energy here of... How do I put this? Of um, You've been in this energy of the lower world kind of energy here. Okay. And you've been avoiding feeling it. You've been avoiding feeling this void or you have not been wanting to feel this void. So you've been doing things that bring you pleasure. Okay. But that, that's not good. <laughs> it's good to indulge a little bit, but I feel like you guys have taken it a little bit. Not in a healthy way. And I feel like you guys need to purify at this time. That's the guidance. You guys need to detox. Detox from negative relationships as well. Cut courts with certain people. I feel like many of you, maybe you've been... You, okay, not for everyone. Again, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. But I'm getting this energy of... You tend to run towards what's shiny or what's new. Or you kind of tend... You let your passions overrule your decisions. And that's not good. Okay, you kind of... There's this sense here of you making your decisions based on passion, based on lust. And I do feel like that's changing. Okay, that's changing. You're becoming more aware of it, or at least spirit is making you more aware of it. And that's being purified at this time. That doesn't have to mean only in a sexual sense. It can also just mean that, you know, 
some kind of like a child right they see some they get that new toy and then they they play with it for a couple of days and then they leave it and then they rush to the new one kind of energy here okay and you can take that in any way shape or form apply it to your situation but I do see, if you have been in that energy, I do see more love, more happiness coming in. If you have been going through that purification process, I do feel like you are, you know, you're getting out of that now, okay? But if you haven't, then just know you're going to be stepping into that energy. Remember, the sunflower always, always faces the sun. So, you guys, if you guys are in a dark period, make sure that, you know, you're looking at the light at the end of the tunnel. Make sure that you're always looking at the positive. That doesn't mean that you have to avoid the bad things or the bad feelings. Okay, because that's not that's not what we do here. We process things. We feel things, right? So let's see. But I do see just more movement, more movement forward. I do see that if you have been like kind of spinning your wheels... I do see you just making more decisions. Better decisions is what I'm hearing as well. The coyote. Yeah, there's this kind of trickster energy. The serpent. A lot of shedding. For many of you, you have been shedding. You have been releasing a lot. The coyote is kind of this energy of, like I said, the trickster energy. So for a lot of you, you have been in this energy of not knowing something. So for a lot of you, I do feel like you will be taking, like I said, that journey in order to find truth. In order for you guys to purify it, in order to get in touch with your heart again, to see what brings you happiness. Where is it that I'm supposed to be? It's kind of the energy. For some of you, I am getting also the energy of who am I supposed to be with? Okay, because there is this Capricorn here. And we do have a Gemini specifically with the lovers as well, or an air sign. I feel like one person is your soulmate, one person is your twin flame, whichever term you do resonate with. And I do feel like the other one, it could be a karmic par partner. Oof, I can't speak. Okay, hold on. Channel a little bit slower. Uh, another person can be a karmic partner here, and it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Okay. So let's see. That's just what I'm picking up here. Again, if you're shedding, if you're releasing, honor that. There is a lot of Kundalini energy here. Specifically, I know in this deck we do talk about the Kundalini energy here that is awakening within you. And that is a tough process to go through. So if you are going through that, just be kind to yourself. Because I do see that you are going through a type of meta metamorphosis there we go metamorphosis okay again that energy of ener of of a journey is coming up is coming in here so i do feel like many of you you are being called to kind of swaddle yourself to take care of yourself during this time because the energy might be very intense for my pile number one i do feel here that you are becoming a truer version of yourself you're letting a lot go you're letting a lot of energy of the seven of swords go of tricking yourself or trick because i'm hearing you can lie to anybody else but you can't lie to your heart and you can't lie to your soul so take it as you will revenge outcomes and justice so you're, you're receiving some type of a karma here for you guys i feel like right now you guys and that could be it could be positive okay don't take it the wrong way it could be positive karma that you are reaping for others of you you might be reaping like you're, you're looking at your decisions and you're seeing that some of your decisions were not the best ones with the devil there they were again they were made based on you know a passion based on on the heat of the moment kind of thing or i don't know i just kind of feel like you, you didn't think things through again nothing to be ashamed of we've all done that we've all been there so don't be hard on yourself but i do feel like there is a sense of karma here you know, the cards are falling into place and you might not like exactly where they're falling. But I'm hearing again, you know, just be kind to yourself. This is all for you to just become aware and for you to change your decision making. Remember, you are the coyote. So you're going to be able to maneuver and to think on your feet here. Okay. So let's see. Fogged in. Okay, miracle. So yeah, there's a lot of like... Yeah, for many of you, you're choosing. There's something about a choice here. You're choosing a different path because, again, you're becoming aware of what you've done in the past and it's kind of like sparked something and it's like, I don't want to do that again kind of energy. 
so you're letting a lot a lot of that go and you're choosing a different route you're choosing with your heart you're choosing what's making you happy and at the same time you're purifying yourself and releasing that which does not serve you or behaviors that do not serve you For a lot of you, you might be letting go of the feeling of revenge as well. Yeah, for a lot of you, like I said, you're stepping into this journey of, again, with the boat. There's this journey of, like, you know, I'm confused. And so you're taking the time to yourself to kind of gather, gather yourself up and kind of find a sense of direction. And again, this energy of t taking things slow. There's no need for you to rush things here. Okay, there's no need for you to rush. Expect beautiful things to happen. Pile number one within the next few months. So for a lot of you, you will be feeling this within the next few months or you're still, but I feel like your answer is yes to something. They're saying do not stop what you're doing. Keep moving forward. Remain positive. They're saying yes, your answer is yes, but you do have to believe. I do, I do see that. Okay, there's something here that's improving, but they're saying it's completely up to you if you believe and you keep doing what you're doing. And you keep putting in the work. Remain positive. Also, if you've been dealing with the health situation that is coming up, uh, it will improve. It is improving. So let's see. We're going to... Your last message for you guys here. Things are not as they appear. Yeah, with the coyote. That trickster energy. There's something here. Spirit is saying there's more than meets the eye. So do not think that you i feel like there's a sense of like what i want whether this is a goal a person whatever this is there's a sense of like it's far away but in reality i'm hearing it's right there your treasure is right there is at your hand is that a hand like you can just grab it but it feels like it's far away and i feel like again you're keep moving forward you're gonna get to where you want to go things are not as they appear the lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze the universe. So that is your message, you guys. Keep moving forward. Yes, you're going through a transition, but we all do. We all do, okay? And you might be reaping some type of a karma. But again, this is all to make you aware of your choices, of where you stand in life, if you want to continue that way, or are you taking a new sense of direction. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, group number two. So for those of you who chose Moldavite, let's see what guidance wants to come through at this time. So Moldavite, life-changing experience. Let's see what deck do I want to use. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot by Christy Ann. So let's see. I'm hearing you take things slow. Okay, there's no rush. It's kind of the energy that I'm picking up for you guys. Yeah, they're also saying right now you need to be strong. You need to you need to be strong. Take action. It's also what I'm hearing and seeing here. It's kind of like I feel like you want to get somewhere. Okay, I'm seeing stairs. So I, I do associate stairs with climbing. So climbing the ladder in some sense, whether this is an you know corporate or whether this is okay they're saying every area of your life so there we go i'm seeing the letter u okay the initials u so let's see for group number two what guidance do they need to hear at this time Ooh, the sun so this is a yes card that's a yes card yes to whatever it is that you've been asking about We have the rune, the sun rune there as well. I just see a lot more joy, a lot more freedom, freedom of expression. Whoa, okay, you guys, legacy. Yeah, I told you I saw a ladder. Okay, good, ladder stairs. Yeah, okay, the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I do see things shifting. 
I do see major shift, major change here. I do see a lot of stability coming in. I do see here that there is the Ten of Pentacles. Spirit is saying rely on your family, rely on your friends, those that you love. I do see a project as well coming into fruition for many of you. I do see many of you as well. There's a sense of tradition here. I'm hearing if it's not broken, don't fix it. I don't know who that is for, but that's what I'm hearing. Again, you're climbing up the ladder. For many of you, you want to take mentorship. Okay, either you want to become a mentor or you are going towards a mentor. I do see many of you getting married with the Hierophant here. And the Ten of Pentacles is like, I want to marry. Oof, I heard I want to marry you. So I don't know who that is for, but I'm giving it to you guys. Okay, so I don't know if you maybe want to marry a Leo. There's a Leo here. Fire. We have Taurus, very marked, and Leo. But I do see you building something solid. I do see you working towards financial security. Okay, not only for you, but the for, for the people or the generations that are coming. I also see for many of you a lot of financial stability, a lot of financial success. I do just, just a lot of happiness. Like these people are so happy in these cards. So I feel like if you've been in a dark period of your life at this time, I do feel like things are turning around for you. Things are about to get very busy as well. I do see many of you flying to go see family. I do see a lot of change, but positive change. Positive progress is what I'm picking up. Kabbalah. I see the Kabbalah. I feel like a lot of things that were up in the air, you're getting a sense of them now and they're positive. Like they're landing. Okay. I feel like you had a lot of projects or you've been planting seeds here and there. And I do feel like now you're seeing that those seeds are blooming and, and it's not just one seed, but it feels like all of them are blooming at the same time. And that is what is giving you that financial stability. For some of you, definitely being a communicator, she is holding her throat chakra. Or, or doing some type of a spiritual venture venture or a spiritual project as well. She who changes. I guess there's a lot of change, transformation as well. So again, all this change is very good for you, okay? Because I do feel like it's bringing in a sense of solidarity. Solidar I can't say the word. Solidarity. Just a lot of loyalty. Loyalty with people, family, okay? If you've been dealing with problems in a relationship or marriage i do see you guys being more happy more in union more in sync meditate more is something that i'm hearing for you guys as well just just a lot of positivity there's a lot of enthusiasm for something for a lot of you, I see you guys embarking on a new journey, doing something different, but this is something that is going to make you very happy. And I feel like you, you're going to meet like a lot of joy and delight. Yeah, like I told you guys, I feel like there's a lot of happiness here. I do feel like I was saying there is something about a spiritual group here. Okay, so I don't know if you've been thinking about doing a spiritual group. Okay, or are you wanting to start one? I feel like it'll be very good. Okay, I feel like the people there will be very good. You guys will get along. A lot of personal transformation for you guys, but it's really good. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's like it's really good. That's the energy that I'm picking up for you guys. For a lot of you, you're moving in a different direction. For a lot of you, I'm also hearing that you're learning to enjoy the journey. You're no longer thinking like or getting caught up in details. You are going with the transformation and just being present. You're allowing change to come. Yeah, for a lot of you, you're answering the call. That's what's going on. And it's no surprise with Moldavite. There is an answering here of the call. You're seeing what your calling is. For some of you, is to be a spiritual teacher, to be a mentor of some kind. And I feel like all the pieces are falling together. And so you're like, okay, this is the time. And I feel like your throat chakra might be going through a opening. So you might be experiencing sore throats. I do feel like you are a... This is shamanistic energy here. Okay, a shaman. 
because I'm being led to the snake here. So there's an energy of being a shaman. Also, I'm getting like fairy vibes as well here. An elemental. You work with the moon cycles. You're very balanced because we have the energy of the moon here. And then we have the energy of the sun as well. And I feel like because you're answering the call, whatever that call is, it's going to be different for every single one of you. I feel like you're just going to be ra radiant. Just there's a lot of success. There's a lot of happiness here. There's, and I feel like these, this is happening like really, really fast for you. Yeah, because there's some type of enlightenment coming in. There's some type of aha moment. And you're putting the pieces together and you're just not letting fear hold you back. And you're like, this is the time to do what I need to do. And I feel like there is a sense of community or, or a group of people that are helping you at this time. There's more balance coming in with the compromise card here as well. You might be a Libra. Again, we have Leo, Leo, Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius. This is Sag, Eight of Wands. I feel like for some of you, they're saying that you need to believe and this is happening rather quickly. You've been reconsidering something. You've been putting something in the back burner here for my group number two. And I feel like finally it's kind of like, okay, there's too many signs. There's too many many coincidences if you will for me not to explore this for me not to go down this new path so i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna because i feel like there's more support around you and you're trusting more in the universe and because you are doing that i feel like spirit is going to reward you protection exactly there's a sense of hesitancy but spirit is saying you know whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing if you've been seeing signs about something just know that you are protected okay you are solid and then we have right here you feel like it's not the right time so it's not the right timing for something but that's not true that's why spirit is coming through saying that you are protected because they're saying the time is now so you keep going back and forth i feel like this is your energy about something you keep going back and forth kind of like you know is it the right time it's not the right time again you've been weighing the scales here should i should i not you know do i have the skills do i have what it takes it's too much of a change but i'm hearing here that what awaits you is financial stability loyalty happiness success radiance yes it will cause change yes it will you will have to make arrangements here you will have to compromise in some in some sense but i feel like if you want to get there you have to climb up and sometimes climbing up is not easy right and it's okay to take breaks as we climb as well i don't know who needs to hear that but that came through Oh no, before I do this, I have one more deck. Yeah, there's a sense of enlightenment. You're in this energy of enlightenment at this time, or you can bring in a lot of enlightenment. Spirit is saying practice mindfulness. That's going to be very important. I see many of you rising up. Yeah, you're the sorcerer. Exactly. You're manifesting something. You're learning to go with the flow more. That's that Taurus energy there. But Taurus energy can also be very stubborn. So be careful with that. Make sure your ego doesn't get in the way with that Leo energy as well. Be more in the flow. The wild woman. Yeah, you're taking a wild approach. I feel like for those of you who picked this pile, you're very intuitive. You're very connected to the higher ups. And I feel like there's a lot of fire within you. There's a lot of passion. Okay, with that sun and that eight of wands. And I feel like spirit is saying, go after what you want. It's okay for you to rock the boat. It's okay for you to do something different. It's time for that wild side of yourself to come out. Six and two is eight. So we have two eights. There's a, infinite possibilities. Do not get caught up in the details. If something doesn't work, that is okay. You can always course correct as you go. That is what I'm hearing for some of you. And then we have the sorcerer. You are the sorcerer. You've been wanting this. You've been manifesting this. And you have the you have the resources. This is to me is kind of like the magician energy. You have all the tools that you need to make this happen for yourself. The only thing that's holding you back is yourself, is your lack of belief. Because spirit is saying the community is there. The loyalty is there. And most importantly, spirit is backing you up. Spirit is protecting you. You're the one holding yourself back.
Okay, we'll take those three. Pucker up, buttercup. Yeah, you have what it takes. Exactly. You have what it takes. That's this energy here. So whatever it is that you're thinking, whether this is being a mentor or anything, you have what it takes. Okay, that if you can take anything from this reading is that. Go after what you want because you have what it takes. And I feel like that's what you're being awakened to. Spirit is saying it's time for you to flourish. It's time for you to prosper. It's time for you to blossom. It's time for you to thrive. Stop holding yourself back. Take action. Do what you need to do. Because you're, the time right now is it's gaining momentum. They're saying it's not a matter of when. It's a matter of timing. The time is now. Yeah. Always follow your heart unless it's been broken. Then you must lead it back into love, the universe. P.S. Did you know that the hearts, did you know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound, or too tired to love again? That's beautiful. So let's see. Honor thyself. So yeah, honor yourself. What is your soul yearning to do? Answer the call. What are you being called to do? Or what are, where are you being called to explore next? Do not get stuck in what you've always been doing. Just curious. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? It matters. Here's looking at you. Gorgeous. The universe. P.S. Okay. Hubba Bubba counts. <laughs> Pucker up buttercup. Yeah, I feel like you've been going in circles with something here. That's why the energy of like, is it the right time? It's not the right time. And spirit is saying, stop going in circles. Being fair and reasonable will earn you respect and admiration. But being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet. Go for the love magnet, the universe. Yeah, for some of you, you're trying to do what's right. You're trying to maybe not rock the boat in some way. But I'm hearing, go ahead and do so. Honor yourself. Put yourself first. And then we have, I go where you go. <laughs> so again, this is spirit telling you, you know, you are protected. Wherever you go, I'm going with you. Wherever you go, your community or those that are loyal to you will follow you. Do not be afraid of answering the call that you know you need to answer at this time. Stop delaying it. Stop procrastinating is what I'm hearing. Tell me, are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you? That for words you've almost mindlessly chosen, hearts broken too long begin to heal. That eyes sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye. Remarkable, our findings exactly. Psst, your, divine, your divinity is showing the universe. For some of you... I feel like it's hard to walk away from that which you have invested for a long time or maybe to those that you have been loyal to. But I feel like here, like it says, right? Even when eyes that sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye. Sometimes we do have to say goodbye to certain people in order for us to answer our call, in order for us to achieve that success and that stability that you want. I don't know who that's for, but that's what I'm hearing. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys like this new way of doing things. Um, maybe I'll go back and forth. We'll see. And now I'm going to move to option number three. Bye. Hello, group number three. So this is <clears throat> the crystal that you picked, Aquamarine. So let's see what guidance is coming in for you guys or what do your spirit guides want to tell you at this time. So I'm going to be using the deck the light seers tarot by christine n which is this deck right here so for a lot of you i feel like you're breaking a cycle you're trying to find truth in regards to something is what i'm seeing here for some okay. some of you are researching something or trying to gather information you're trying to learn something new for some of you i feel like someone wants to reach out to you or you want to reach out to someone with the Page of Swords is also this energy of spying. So I don't know, again, gathering information. You might be gathering information on someone or something that you want to pursue. Okay, take it as you will. But for some of you, I do feel like this is like a crush energy because we do have the Page of Cups here. So this could be someone you're spying on someone or someone's spying on you. Okay, someone who likes you, who loves you. Kind of the energy here that I'm picking up. So let's see. 
for those of you in group number three what guidance wants to come through at this time i'm hearing you're opening up i don't know <laughs> you're opening up okay you're taking a leap of faith yeah, you're taking a leap of faith. I'm also hearing you're letting go of the illusions. Again, that energy of finding the truth in something. Again, gathering information on someone or something. Getting your facts. I don't know. Let's see. It could be also about a project, right? You're gathering your facts on something that you want to do. Yeah, I feel like for many of you, you want to communicate something to someone, but someone is not receptive to that communication or someone has blocked you out of something. I feel like for some of you, you feel blocked from someone or someone feels like out of reach. I don't know who this is for, but it feels like kind of the energy of like someone doesn't want to be bothered. Someone has turned their eye because look, we have this card at the bottom of the deck and it feels to me like someone might be like okay i'm not i'm not even looking at you i'm not acknowledging you i'm in my bubble and i'm not paying attention and this could be you also just turning away from things that are not good for you because the seven of wands is someone that is being attacked right essentially is someone who's fighting the seven wands so it could be you that you're just like i don't want to be bothered at this time and maybe spirit is telling you do not be bothered right now we have this rune here for those of you who do rune i'm not i feel like this is a rune of protection okay and there is this bubble around this woman here so i do feel like for many of you you have this sense of inner peace or you made peace with something and it's like i'm not engaging in the drama and spirit is telling you do not engage in that you're comfortable she's on a cushion so i feel like again there is a sense of inner peace here the sense of like i'm not fighting what's it's not worthwhile it's kind of the energy that i'm getting and I'm getting you are protected from all of this situation here. But for some of you, I do feel like there is a king of swords or you might be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. And I feel like you want to communicate something with this person or this person wants to communicate with you. But I feel like they're not giving you the time of day. Yeah, I feel like mm, there was a miscommunication. Yeah, they're showing me the five of wands. There, there was a miscommunication with something here. There's a lot of ego here at this time. So I feel like right now this, I don't know. It just feels like it's not, though someone's not allowing you to communicate in some way. Two of cups, it could be in a relationship. No wonder I was picking up that energy. King of wands, you might be a fire sign. Okay, we have the rune of Kenas. And the sun, Leo, strong Leo energy here. You might be dealing with someone who's in the public eye, okay, with the king of wands here and the sun next to it. Someone who shines very bright, someone who's very confident, someone who's very, someone who stands in their power, someone who's very powerful, someone who is king material, queen material is kind of the energy that I'm picking up here. I feel for many of you, you are dealing with the soulmate, just with the two of cups there, soulmate twin flame energy, whichever term you resonate with. But I do feel like there is there mm, there's a need of exchange of energies with someone here, but someone is not. <laughs> I feel like someone is not receptive, whether this is you or that other person. Again, that fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, specifically Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising energy here. This person is a leader. Okay, it's kind of the energy. I'm also hearing too, you need to be a leader in your life. You need to make decisions for yourself you need to make the decisions that are good for you do not be afraid to take that leader that leader role in your life you are adaptable there's a lot of happiness here you have what it takes is kind of the energy that i'm getting here for the king of wands because everyone wants the king of wands. I mean, everyone wants to be near the king of wands, right? The king of wands is, he's just very radiant. He's very charming. He is uh, very loyal. He is a leader. He is, I would say alpha male, but that's not, I don't like that term, but we can use that just for you guys to get a picture. 
with the two of cups i do feel like if you're waiting for a job if you have gone to an interview i do feel like you are getting the job you are hearing news and it's interesting because i did pick that up in the channeled messages at the beginning of the reading So there's good news coming in okay about a creative project for some of you i do feel like you want to put yourself out there or there's some type of creative venture that you want to pursue and i feel like you should i feel for some of you you're entering into a partnership with the fire sign i feel like i already said that but this feels like more of terms and work collaboration and i feel like this will be very successful because this person is very confident they are very creative and they have many ideas very lucrative very also how do you call this eccentric or very i can't find the word this mercury retrograde i feel like this person sees your potential you're launching something someone's launching something okay and i feel like oh okay thank you okay i got the i got the message hold on you guys okay so i just heard someone is watching you and that's why I was like, why would the page of swords? Someone is gathering information. Okay, so what I'm hearing is be open to the people who are coming towards you. Do not turn your blind eye to everyone, okay? Be a little bit more opening in your energy. Again, be discerning of it. But I'm hearing here there's two offers coming in. We do have an air sign coming in. And I don't know if that's like the best one for you. I feel like with the air sign, there's a lot of misunderstandings with this person okay but i feel like also there is this king of wands coming in and i do feel like this king of wands or queen of wands because these are general readings is going to offer you a very good deal or a very good offer here whether this is love relationships but i'm picking this more in regards to collaborations in regards to work okay or some type of creative lucrative project i'm also hearing here that this person there's someone that's keeping an eye on you someone is looking at what you do on how you shine on uh, the qualities that you have how you're so open so unique so authentic that is the king of wands how you're so giving how you have created this alchemy how courageous you are and so this person is coming in to offer you something okay and i feel like this offer is a very good for you there's something that this person is like this person person is the perfect fit for what i want to do for the project that i want to launch this person sees a lot of potential in you this person sees the creative aspect of you and they love it they love it and they're just they have their eye on you okay and it feels like it's in regards to your work it feels like it's someone who watches maybe your platform with the page of swords coming up earlier someone who watches you shine they watch you shine. They see that you're very, again, very creative. That you're very, you have a lot of, the word that they're giving me is potential. Potential. And I feel like this partnership is gonna, there's a card that fell, you guys. Give me a second. This partnership will be very good for you guys. Okay, so the card that fell is overcoming obstacles. So I feel like this person is gonna help you overcome something. Okay, this person feels like you and like a power couple for some of you. But for others of you, this is like a co-worker or like a partnership type of thing where this person is like, with this person, we can overcome anything. We can literally, you know, achieve the sun energy with this person. With you, basically, my viewer. Because <laughs> someone has their eye on you. Yeah, they see you as a wondrous being. <laughs> like you walk in beauty is kind of the energy that I'm picking up. This person might have romantic feelings for some of you because we do have the two of cups. But for some of you, I do feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify that, okay guys? Just one second. Because I'm picking up an energy of like um for some of you this is love. For others of you, this is collaboration. Okay, we got no here. Recovery. And expect wondrous. Option number two got this as well. Expect wondrous things to emerge. I feel like for some of you, you're going to want to say no. This could be a healer because we do have the recovery card. And that's why I'm, I'm that's why I said be receptive. Be receptive because. 
because I feel like for some of you, you're, you're going to want to say no, but I feel like this person sees your potential. Yeah, she who begins primavera, launch, actualize potential. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you're launching a creative project. Okay, this is you. You are embodying the king of wands. For others of you, this is someone coming in to help you launch something. But I feel like this person has seen how you have overcome obstacles. This person has seen, sees your creative spark, sees your potential in something, sees your radiance, sees your courage, your determination, and your will. And this person has seen you recover. So I don't know. This person has has been keeping their eye on you for quite a while. This person, okay. This person is here to grant you some type of a wish. This person is your, like your genie. <laughs> okay, or a female. Whoever this female or male is, this person is here to help you achieve your desires and your hopes and your wishes. So again, you know, do not just close them off. This could be a female who has a lot of masculine energy as well. But this person is here to give you the victory in something. That's what I'm hearing. This person is here to give you the victory in something. So I want to see something. Hold on. Let me just clarify. This is the... I don't even know the name. This is a spiritual healer type of... Yeah, this person is coming in to give you a wish come true with the Nine of Cups and Two of Cups again. This person, for some of you, is could be a soulmate. Again, there's that air sign. Maybe you're an air, an air sign, my viewer. Maybe you're a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, this person is in the spiritual or has some type of a spiritual healer energy. And this person, again, has been collecting information from you. And they have a contract or they have an offer for you. But again, I feel with the Four of Cups, you're not receptive to it. You're looking at it and you're just like, maybe not. You're like, maybe it's too good to be true. This is the Linestra, Linestra, Linestra Tarot. Yeah, because I feel like, yeah, you might be a Libra. Because I feel like you're like, I've accepted offers like this. Or some of you are recovering from this Ten of Swords energy. And you're just like, right now, I'm not engaging in that. For some of you, this could literally be love. Maybe, you know, you just went through something difficult and you're like i can't take another offer or i can't no i don't want to deal with love right now but i feel like this person is coming in with sincere with a sincere offer okay i don't see anything here that tells me like wait a minute you know put the brakes on this this doesn't feel like that i feel like they're coming in with a lot of fairness with a lot of fairness with a lot of strategy they've put their information together they have planned things out they have thought things out and they want this new beginning with you they want to offer you something they want to embark on a new journey that's going to lead them to the world that's going to lead them to success because they feel again you see they see you as the empress they see you as the empress and they feel like or the emperor if you're a male and i feel like they, they feel like they can achieve the success with you they're like, this is my person, whether this is my business partner, whether this is my hubby or my wife, like this is the person that I can have everything that I want with. And you're like their wheel of fortune. They want to make this, they want to go after what, the, this is someone that's in the public eye or you are in the public eye. For some of you, this is a, like I said, a soulmate energy here. And this person has seen you recover out of something. Okay. And they admire that from you. And they want to move forward in a new direction with you. And they want to grant something with you. They want to do something. They want to launch something. So again, for some of you, this could be definitely love. For others of you, this could be work. Three of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you are recovering from something. Or you've been in this energy of like, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of hurt. You're trying to overcome pain, sadness. Queen of, like I said, for many of you, you're an air sign. There's something here with an air sign and a fire sign. So again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Three of Wands. This is something you've been waiting for. This is something you've been waiting for quite a long time. And this person or spirit is bringing this person in for you. Wow, such a beautiful reading. Speak your truth. Again, because I feel like you've been through so much pain and so much hurt. And I feel like this person is aware of that. That's why they've been taking the time on how to approach you. I feel like that's why they've been gathering their information. Because they see that you keep people at arm's length. <laughs> it's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. You keep people at arm's length so they know that. They see that. So they're like, okay, I need to come up with something to approach this person. Because this person 
is doesn't trust very much because I can see that they've been hurt. I can see that they have huge obstacles that they have overcome so they don't judge you for that they admire you for that and they've planned it out okay and it doesn't feel like with malice it doesn't feel like it's a bad thing for others of you if you're like no jj i'm not dealing with anybody or no nothing like that then just know that you're making a decision to cut away the confusion the anxiety to cut through the obstacles in order for you to you know bloom in order for you to find success okay yeah, literally my phone just, <laughs> my <laughs> Apple Watch just went, sorry, I can't take your request right now. So for some of you, I feel like this is what's going to happen. You guys are just like, sorry, I can't, uh-uh, I'm not doing this. Spirit is saying, give this person a chance, you guys. Okay, give this person a chance. And I also feel like maybe this person has come into your life before in the past and you've blocked them out or you kept them at arm's length here or this person kept you at arm's length this air sign or this fire sign and you're just like okay i need to i need to think things through better <laughs> okay but that was so funny that siri just told me that right now so let's see but i do feel here that you're making a decision you're deciding something you're launching something again this is either by yourself or with someone lucrative i'm hearing the word lucrative just very strongly okay let's see delight Come, you're going after what makes you happy yeah you need to focus focus with the queen of swords focus gather your facts get your ducks in a row remain flexible do not be so rigid again do not close people up again this is an opportunity we i Sorry, I hit that. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. This person is offering you something. There's an offer here that it's going to be very hard for you to turn down. And look at this. Trust. Trust the chaos that you were in. Because I feel for some of you, you are in this period of like you were very heartbroken in something. And I feel like Spirit is saying when this person comes in, I need you to trust this. I need you to trust this journey. I need you to trust this offer. Again, be discerning. You listen to your intuition. You know best, right? I'm just reading the cards here. If you've been in this dark period, just know that you are overcoming this. Your confidence is coming back. Happiness is coming back in. Love is coming back in. It's kind of like you're thawing. You were in this cocoon and you're ready to emerge, okay? This is too many cards. Give me two cards. There we go. Pachamama, so Mother Earth, again, a lot of creativity, a lot of fertile ground. There's something, there's something that you're birthing, something that you need to nurture, that you're nurturing. But I feel like with the sun, it's like it's ready to, it's ready to be birthed, it's ready to, to be created. The arrow, focus, focus. Number three, Empress energy. Another three here. Another three here. Oh, three, three, three. So maybe you've been seeing a lot of three, three, threes. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of potential in this offer or in this business partner or in this project that you want to launch. The council. Yeah, someone is coming in to help you. For some of you, this is this is a twin flame. I do have to say that just because I'm seeing the flame here and the 11 here. But that's only for some of you. But I do feel like this fire sign or this air sign, depending on who you are, someone is coming in to counsel you. Someone is coming in to guide you. Again, this person has healer energy. This person could be bringing you a truth to help you find healing in this chaos, to help you focus, to realign you in some way, to help you hit your mark, to help you to help you achieve some type of wish or success or hope here. Again, this person comes in with a lot of public recognition or you will have a lot of public recognition because of what they're they're wanting to work with you. This feels very like um professional in a way. Start where you are, yeah. Okay. 
what you give will come back so a lot of you have been giving a lot and probably you just gave to someone that you don't even know who they are and this person has really admired you this person again they've done your they've done their research it's kind of the energy that i'm getting here they've done their research start where you are the great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone next the universe. So again, for some of you, you know, you're leaving behind a situation that was very hard, was very difficult, and so you're moving on, okay? And then we have that you have options is meaningful, rock on. So for a lot of you, you are debating between an air sign and a fire sign whether it's about work collaboration i do feel like the fire sign is better okay um but again use your discernment i just feel like the, the fire sign is offering you the two of cups with the sun and the air sign here the air sign here comes in with the five of wands the ace of swords and the king of swords there's a king of swords and seven of wands so i do feel like there's just a lot of bickering back and forth with this air sign here so i don't like it's been going in circles okay i just feel like the fire sign is just in my what i'm seeing by the cards is better but i mean again use your discernment that you have options as meaningful rock on if I could make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance just as you are to the lives of so very many. And of course, I'd wish for even more wishes. Oh shoot, you were such a good idea, the universe. Again, this there's someone here. This person sees who you are sees the profound depths of your your beauty your there's something here they see you so focused okay and that's why they come to offer you this this person has a lot of gratitude that's what i'm saying what you give is coming back you gave to someone you didn't know this is someone who might be at a distance by the way you don't know how you're counseling or how or how you help them you don't know the change that you've brought to their lives in a moment of chaos in their life and i feel like they're repaying it in some way that's what they're saying they're very grateful for you being in their life and and they want to show you you know just how important you don't even know right unimaginable importance just as you are to the lives of so many so i feel like you you played a big role in someone's life and someone is about to tell you what this is and this could be something that motivates you right this person is coming in to bring you clarity to help you see something understand something and maybe that would just put the pieces together and can help you go in a new direction or can help you focus or can help you launch something that you've been wanting to and then your last card, you will be surprised. Yeah, I feel like it's interesting. This deck is very interesting. Very, very interesting, you guys. Um, let me know. Come back and let me know. <laughs> you will be surprised. Ask with love and their answer may surprise you. Yet, whatever their answer is, be happy and this may surprise them. Hi, it's love and I, the universe. Yeah, you will be surprised very beautiful reading i hope this has brought you some type of clarity i wish you guys the best take care of yourselves it was an honor god bless you and bye